Capitec proudly sponsors this program. Rethink Credit. Realize dreams. Capitec. Welcome to Winner Home, South Africa's premier interior design and decor reality show. And today, once again, coming to you live on SABC3, my name is Danilo Aquisto. Tubbs, you're doing good? Ah, uh, all good. Ready oh, to make this? some we... winners. Yeah, yes. yes. That's right. I'm Tavi Somakubela, and this is the show where we follow the journey of three design duos as they each take on empty penthouse apartments and transform them into dream living spaces at the Pot of Lay Lifestyle Estate in Somerset West, developed by Baldwin Properties. And in the end, you, the viewer, could walk away with your choice of one of the three completed homes as our grand prize winner. I'm coming to visit. Remember that today we also draw another lucky name from all the entries over the last week to participate in our Capitec Open the Door giveaway, where this week you could win either a 5,000 Rand Valence voucher, a Caesar Stone Domino desk lamp designed by Dr. and Mrs. worth 12,000 Rand, or a Daniel Klein his and hers watch set worth 3,200 Rand. Oh, plus, you'll have a second opportunity to win with this week's Samsung prize being the Gear Icon X earbuds with built-in music player, voice command coaching, and built-in heart monitor. And on top of that, if you're a Capita client, you could win an additional 5,000 bucks by answering a simple question. That's three potential prizes. Man, oh man. You have until 7.45 p.m. tonight to enter on privateproperty.co.za. That way you qualify for tonight's prizes. So hurry, hurry, hurry. Time is running out. Now, before we get into the action and see what the design duos have been up to this week, it's a Thursday, and after all, it's a throwback. So let's throw back to last week. Last week, the design duos were briefed on their first challenge. As they quickly learned, win a home is not for the faint-hearted. We were not expecting that. It's double the trouble. Their mentor for the first challenge, former win a home design champion, Rudolf Jordan, paid a visit to each duo to give them some guidance. My only criticism would be that I think you might be using too many materials here. So just be cautious of how you're going to use it. Team RNK decided to go all out glam and promised a surprise element. You just have to stick along to see what we've got in plan. <laughs> At the halfway mark, all three teams were well on their way to completing the two spaces. But will they remain on track as the deadline approaches? With some ambitious ideas planned up front, the design duos have hit the ground running in their first challenge with two rooms to complete. Now the question is, will they be done in time? It's deadline day and things are getting really heated. Yeah, we got about a, a thousand people working on top of each other, but it's going, it's going well. The pressure's on, it's deadline day, and we are out collating things from our suppliers, shopping last minute. We're just hoping that everything is going according to plan on site. It's a big day. Yeah, deadline day, the, the stress is real, but there's no time to panic. We just, we just have to get it done now. It's it's crunch time. It's just go, go, go. Um, the shelf's not here. and but, the shelf's supposed to be Yeah, it was supposed to go over here, and um, he's not answering his phone. I arrived back on site. Things are not looking good. I mean, the shelving unit is not there. What do we do? I know. It was crazy. It was insane. We're not going to have it today. OK, so I'm out shopping. I get a call, and it's from Koki. And I answer. She sounds hysterical, anxious. The shelving is not happening. I need to make a plan B. We'll just have to use Ottoman. We have an Ottoman that we could use to improvise for now until it eventually comes in. Currently, welding is still going on. We have a few minor adjustments that we need to make, as well as the mirror coming into the Murphy's Law bed, and then a few plants that need to be potted. We chose to use indoor plants um, that require little to hardly any maintenance because you actually don't know who will be living within your space and whether they'll actually have green fingers or not. The Caesar Stone windowsills, the concept when it came out was, was airy fairy, but seeing it being installed kind of actualized whatever crazy thing we were thinking of at that time. Mm, it's come out with a really nice effect, that little overhang that we've got in front really creates a nice shadow detail, it's really neat. Our Caesar Stone hexagon shelving is looking so incredible. Execution to the team. 
Like, we are so excited. Everything is starting to come together. With three hours left to go, Rudy pops in and he's looking for a task. How can I help you guys? Where are you um, at? Well, here's the vacuum, bro. Like, have at it. Like, have, have at it. <laughs> Seeing our collaborative piece with Oliver, which was the headboard design, feels like creative heaven. Just that softness and like that grounding feel of like pulling all those walls together. Currently, they are busy installing the mirror that is going onto our Murphy bed. Um, they're having to step it down and then we're going to finish off the rest of the panels. Nothing's working. It's very difficult to make I understand. This guy is not supposed to be out totally. The is supposed to all the people to be out. But you see, had we done this yesterday, we wouldn't have this problem today. Watch this doors there, So Kehumile is on the one side and I'm on the other side. We don't really know what's going on, but we're... We're pushing. Everyone just thinking it's going to flop is a lot to handle. We're definitely going to get this done. There I am, fixing our mannequin. <laughs> Getting everything ready. Rudy pops in just to see how far we've gone. How's it going, Aya? Hi, Rudolph. Hi. Okay, so you're getting dressed. Is this a surprise? This is a surprise, <laughs> but now you've seen it. Love it, love it, love it. Okay. Uh, lighting good. Are you happy? Is it sufficient lighting? So far, so good. I, we can't complain. There's just so much to do, and it's crunch time. So I put him to work. Are you good with the broom? Cleaning, I'm really good at cleaning. Let's do it. <laughs> okay, so, okay. What, hand me a broom. Yeah, there's a broom. What, wait, wait, wait. Oh, yeah. There you go, yeah. there you go. Okay, so yes, wait, let's where do you want going. to start? Yeah. Um, just Maybe the cupboards? Yeah. Are, are you done yeah, here? Is, yeah, no, these are done. These are all done. Okay, um, okay. So good. Mm. Wow. Mm. I'm really impressed, really impressed. Thank you okay, so much. Okay, so let much. me start cleaning them out. Yeah, just, you know, seat them out so that there's no dust in there. Yeah. Thank you so much, Rudolph. We appreciate no, this it. This is a really hard room. <laughs> I'd rather use my hands. <laughs> Get your hands dirty. <laughs> Dino has been such a legend. Uh, he's pulled through for us. He sorted out the steel fabrication. He really secured some of those custom pieces in the, in the studio for us. Despite the fact that with only a few hours left to go, there's so much that still needs to be done and the pressure is really on. The Amazing Race Painters Edition. We love it. We work our best under pressure and we really thrive thrive under the pump and yeah, it's it's our thing, let's do this. Rudy pops in three hours before deadline. Hey Rudy. Are you figuring out how to put it together your puzzle yet? We don't have much to show him at that time. Folks, that is probably the least important piece. Let's just move on. And the legs, I still don't understand how the legs are gonna work. We're not so sure if we're gonna pull this through. Yeah, I don't think we have a piece of furniture in our rooms right now, so it's... We just have to smile it out. <laughs> they started out all optimistic, but oh, the drama has begun oh, on Wanna Home. It's unfolding, it's unfolding. Oh, but these <laughs> homes are going to look absolutely incredible, and you can enter our grand prize competition on privateproperty.co.za by voting for your favorite design duo, and that way you can stand a chance of winning your choice of one of the three apartments at the Part of Play Lifestyle Estate at the end of the competition. Plus, later in the show, we'll be drawing one lucky name from this week's entries to participate in the Capitec Open the Door giveaway, and you have until 7.45 tonight to enter for tonight's draw. So you only have a couple of minutes left. Indeed, we'll be back after these. Search for a home on any device, anytime, anywhere. Private property, a home for everyone. Welcome back to Winter Home on SABC3 and well, the name says it all. At the end of the series, you could be the lucky owner of a brand new apartment at the Part of Lay Lifestyle Estate with more than three million rand. And all you have to do to enter is vote for your favorite design duo on privateproperty.co.za. Simple, right? You can also enter once per day to increase your chances and the entry deadline for tonight's Capitec Open the Door giveaway is 7.45 p.m. So set those watches and get those last few entries in if you haven't yet voted today. Well, the design duos have had a deadline looming. Will they be done with their first challenge on time? Let's have a look. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Dan's just arrived on site with two hours left. All right, perma peeps. Do you want to take a little moment here to tell me what's going on? A little bit of everything is going on. Yeah. You guys have got two hours. Why is this place such a mess? 
And on the outside, we're like, we're fine. But on the inside, we're just screaming, get out. <laughs> it's time to push now, it's time to push. I'm gonna leave you to it this time, I'm gonna go check out what's happening next door, right? Sweet. <laughs> Looks super stressed. Position is what it was. How's it going in here? Good. Just, just good? Just, yeah, great. Just fixing some a few things This here. does not look like this should be like this at two hours to go. <laughs> <laughs> We're just remounting so that everything's better. Is this that new Perspex you guys wanted? Yes, yeah. and it works perfectly now, oh, thank gosh. goodness. It's chaos, <laughs> they seem pretty okay. <laughs> Okay, you're painting phosphate on dealer. One hour, and then we're taking all this stuff off site. Gentlemen, gentlemen, this is chaos. What is going on? We just put up our picket fence. I don't think Danilo could have pulled in at a, at a worse possible time. I mean, just leave us alone right now. We're, we're trying to operate here. Yeah. And the rest of the space, you guys have got two hours to be done. Everyone else is basically finished. You are probably the furthest behind. We'll, we'll, you'll see the bed. Semantics. At Semantics. The, at the Semantics. End. Two hours, gentlemen. Get to it, get to it. Come on, I want to see a finished room by the end of this, all right? There's literally two hours to go. Freaking out. Oh, wow. Dan pops in, we've got two hours to go, and I can't believe how much we've got done since this morning. I mean, we might actually pull this off. <laughs> yeah. We are interior people, man. We make things happen. Yeah, that's what we do. <laughs> Lastminute.com, and those are looking epic. Oh, thank, thank you, you thank so you, thank much, Daniel. Right. So this is just a call to say, you guys, we've got two hours to get everything done and dusted. I don't want to see a spot of dirt. I don't want to see any scratches on the wall. Yeah. I want to see perfection. Yes. Gotcha. Go, 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 go. Okay, Get bye. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, this last two weeks has been intense. It's been crazy. But uh, at the same time, it's taught us a lot about how this challenge works and how we're going to manage ourselves going forwards and just like that it's deadline for challenge one of winter home season five as soon as I blow this horn the design contestants will have to stop whatever they're doing and leave their rooms just as they are will they be done <laughs> I surely hope so you ready <gasps> time's up the horn sounds like Armageddon gosh the last thing we need is the horn going off honestly the horn's just gone off. It's finished, it's done. We did it, we it's all right, it. it's, it's over. It. It's good, it's done, it's finished. Come, 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 come. Deadline, drop what you're doing. So what trouble or design beauty awaits us? Stay tuned to find out. The first challenge has been tough. You know, the past two weeks have been hectic. Double room. Oof, goodness, I mean, I'm just glad we're done. Yeah, it's really all up to the judges now. Done and dusted. Shoo! Deadlines, and so too you have reached your deadline to be eligible for tonight's Capitec Open the Door competition. All entries received from now on will qualify for next week's door prizes, so don't stop entering once per day on privateproperty.co.za. It's time now for our design contestants to reveal the end results of their double spare room challenge. First up, it's Team RNK. Team RNK, the glam room is finally revealed. Yes, it is. How are you guys feeling? Oh, excited. I feel great. Walk me through your ideas in the space. We wanted to create a more functional space, right? That includes everything that a woman needs. Glam station, this is where she'll do her makeup and get ready. And then we have like a little occasional chair over there, very rustic, but this is where she sits and reads through the latest magazine. And I see you found a solution to your shelving problem. A great designer will find a solution. We solve them in housing, in homes, and all of that. So yesterday, yes, we had a concept of a floating shelf, and it just didn't work out as we had planned. So we had to make something happen, and literally we had about 40 minutes to make it happen, and we did. And then over here, we have our glam closet, where she keeps all her beautiful clothes, and then a mannequin over here, which she will use to dress up. So that's the surprise you guys mentioned at Halfway? Yes, this one. Love it. And of course our painting, which has a pair of red bottoms. Mm. Also, that's also very contemporary and there's a language, there's something that's happening over there. Yeah. And that was the big collaboration in this space, right? Oh yes. It was a collaboration between ourselves and Donna. Donna Solovey. Who is an illustrator. And that picture frame was also a collaboration with Caesar Stone, correct? Again, it was just to show how dynamic we can get because Caesar Stone, usually people use it for kitchens, but we wanted to play with it in a space that is unconventional. The judges are obviously going to walk in here and you want them to spot the highlight items. What are those for you? 
our mirror right behind you with the lights. Or with a glam room, you need lights. So when you're doing your makeup, the light station, perfect. Our low chandelier over there, beautiful contrast, gloss and a little bit of black. And our mannequin, of course, because this is it's unconventional to have it in a glam room. And then what are you concerned that the judges might not appreciate in this space? Well, I'm thinking the length of this opening over here. If we had the mannequin a little higher, then it would have meant that the person living in here would not be able to reach it. So that spacing in there, they should have known. I would hope that they appreciate the fact that we have these high, high cupboards with the collaboration with Cozy Homes. Because I mean, it's usually people would cut their cupboards just a little bit lower, but I think the high, there's an illusion of space. Mm. Everything is stacked away neatly, so she gets all of the space to play around. Mm. It's not cluttered, and I think that they will appreciate. Our use of plants, again, it adds to the whole essence of health, feeling good, upliftment. Everything was very strategically done. We could have also gone for the chandelier in the center, which again, everybody does. Mm. They must appreciate the little things that we've done. Okay, oh, let's move on to the next room. Let's oh, do that. Thank you. <laughs> Welcome to our sanctuary. Oh my gosh, I just want to throw myself on this bed. It's so soft. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> this is our guest room and uh, it's an amazing, don't you feel like rest mm. when you enter this place? Mm. It's so beautiful. We love it. We really do. So we went for a white bed because we feel like white is a calming color. It's natural. It's neutral. And of course, we went for floral curtains because it's about rest. Whoever comes into here is trying to escape from their place. So we want them to feel like they're on a holiday. You've mentioned that the space is quite restful and I can see that in the space, but what's going to be the wow factor because this is a design competition? Definitely these hexagon cut Caesar stone pieces because they are bespoke and I think right now hexagons are in season. We've seen so many of them. So many. We could have chosen to just put a painting here, which everybody does. Uh, and of course our Roman cut blinds, uh, they're so stunning. Adding the floral element was very important to us. We wanted it to feel like escapism, very, very refreshing. Mm. Again, feeding into the whole idea of rest. The space is looking lovely. It's all up to the judges now. Good luck to both of you. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. All that's left is for you to share your thoughts with us. Hashtag win a home. Do you like Team RNK's glam room? I think it's looking absolutely incredible. Uh, don't forget to find us on Twitter. We're at uh, win a home show. We've just received 10,000 entries for the competition currently on the website in the first 15 minutes of the show. So if you haven't yet entered uh, over the last while, make sure you get doing that as soon as possible. But while I'm on the device, I thought I'd uh, hop on to Twitter to read some of your comments that you've been leaving uh, with that hashtag. And I thought Tumelo had kind of wrapped things up so well with his tweet. The first one says, I see the drama is starting to unfold on Winner Home. That's exactly how we're feeling in studio as well. It just feels like, you know, it was all fun and games in the beginning. Now things are getting serious. Uh, and Durbanite for Life, uh, his name is Mark Naidu, says, I have faith it will win a home because Nick was tweeting to say that, oh my gosh, he doesn't think they're going to finish their apartment on time. And then obviously his flatmate, Kehumile, um, and his partner in crime on this competition was just agreeing with him. Will they be done? We're going to have to wait and see. Share your thoughts. Who's your favorite design duo? Use that hashtag, Winner Home, so we can find your tweets. Coming up, we take a look at what Team Contrast Control and the Perma Peeps have created for their first challenge. You stay right where you are. Get credit for the right reasons. Up to 250,000 Rand based on your need. Capitec. Welcome back to Winner Home on SABC3, where the stage is yours. Now, with only two weeks to design and complete two spare rooms for their first challenge, our design duos had their work cut out for them from the get-go. As part of the brief, one of the spaces had to be something other than a guest bedroom, and the Perma Peeps came up with an innovative solution. <laughs> Hello, Perma Peeps. Well, well done. This has come together so nicely. Thank you so much. Mm. We were feeling good, very good about the space, and our intentions was to create a very minimalist, multifunctional space that brought in our permaculture elements by bringing in nature and plant life uh, to really create a very relaxing, clean environment to come and kick back, do some yoga, you can get a little bit of work done or creative things and just a multifunctional space in general. Stunning. What for you are going to be the standout items in this space? Well, we have two surprises in this space. We have a fold-out Murphy bed 
as well as a fold-down desk. So that's, that's the surprise element in this room is that it really is multifunctional in what you can utilize the space for whilst not being in your face. Mm. And then what do you think their concerns are going to be? I mean, we are in general actually quite proud of what we've achieved. There are a few snags around the room mm -hmm. in terms of painting and things like that that we'd like to fix, but other than that, we're actually very happy with the result. Now show me the big surprise of this desk that folds out. Yes, definitely. So you just push to open and it folds down. Oh, and heavens. Rests. That is... And you've got a little pin board if you want to keep your little notes or yeah. your inspiration. We've got a little stool that you can pull up and take a seat at, which is a lovely African organic texture with the natural root. And yeah, so Amazing. you can use your desk as and when needed, and if you don't, you just fold, fold it back up. up. Very, very Cheering. cool element. <laughs> I like what you've added to the space. It was a double challenge, so you take a look at the next space. Yeah, let's go. Okay. Welcome to our spare bedroom. Guys, this is stunning. Thank you very much. Tell me about the design aesthetic here. Our design intention behind this space was to also keep it very minimalist and simple, bringing in our permaculture plant elements as well. And yeah, to also bring in some personal touches, handmade elements. Mm. Mm -hmm. Our hand-woven planters and our hand-woven headboard, which we've named our WAH headboard. And the Willow Home Headboard. Yes. 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 <laughs> There's actually 3,900 knots in this headboard and 500 meters worth of hemp rope. And it did take us around 24 to 30 hours yeah. To, to do. <laughs> so I'm glad that you guys got that done and dusted because that must have been a, a headache for you two in, in this competition. Tell me about this closet space. It's very bare and open. Yes, well, we are strong advocates of the minimalist movement. We feel like people do have too much stuff. So what we found is if you give too much closed storage options, the more you fill the space. So having it be open forces that you actually have to consider what you're hanging and putting in mm. the space to really promote people actually thinking about what they own and what they display and have in their space. So it becomes more of a display space as well as a storage space. And yes, it does mitigate people hoarding stuff behind the cupboards, closed doors. At the end of the day, guys, it's up to the judges. Good luck to both of you. I wish you all the best. Thanks. Thank you very much. No ways. Gents, this is looking incredible. When I came here at the halfway mark, this was just chaos. Yeah, it was insane. And? We all finally, of the emotions. We finally got down with it though. Now walk me through the vision of this incredible room. Our vision of the space was trying to make it cozy. We incorporated the carpet from Belgatex, who were amazing. And then reflecting on the timber, we just wanted to reflect the kind of timber that's on the floor at the top. So we added that picker fence that you were so concerned <laughs> about. We love how the CCA finish, it's like light green, kind of mm. picks up and then, yeah, how it brings in that natural texture. Mm. And uh, one of the criticisms that we had before was that there was going to be too much materials and too much going on, but I think it's come together really nicely. And one other thing would be the built-in cupboards, where we've tried to keep it subtle with the wall, but also have a kind of um, impact with regards to the shape, adding triangles in there for shadows mm. uh, within that little niche in there. And also our pedestals, I'd say, are quite feature pieces. Yeah. Totally. I mean, that was a fun little relationship that we, we had from before um, with Destale, a furniture company in George, um, that I worked for previously. I did an internship there. So we've incorporated two of their ranges, one in here and one next door. Mm. And then obviously our main collaboration, which was uh, with Chill Interiors for the headboard. And I think they did a fantastic job. Indeed. Yeah, it looks incredible, gents. Well done. Uh, what are some of the things that you think the judges are going to notice that they maybe might not appreciate? One of the concerns would be the maintenance of the carpet, because it is carpet and, I mean, maintaining carpet is way more harder than maintaining floor planks. Another thing would be maintaining, like just cleaning the picket fence bulkhead that we have. A bit of dusting involved, yeah. It is a little bit lower than what we wanted. So, I mean, ideally we'd like to raise it by like another 150. Um, some people might have a problem with that, but uh, it also does add a cozy element. So, we'll just have to see, it's a personal thing. Right, let's look at the next space. Welcome, Danilo, to our little 
studio slash trading nook. I would spend a lot of time here, guys. This is awesome. Tell me about the ideas. Yeah, we've got amazing Ibiza lounger from Valance. Um, also this artwork from Valance, really bringing a pop of color. And with so much going on in this space, you must have a particular favorite piece, do you? Our Caesar Stone uh, window box. We really like that, how that turned out, and we brought that across from the other room as well. We just wanted also to incorporate alternative methods of storage, which we used through steel sheeting. We just bent it into shelving, and then we just put it onto the desk because we felt that the user might need to actually function in this room without relaxing. So that's the desk there, which we think came out very really nice. And relating back to the guest bedroom, we also just wanted to put in the stale storage boxes here. Gents, I think the judges are going to love this. Good luck to both of you. They're on their way. Thank awesome. you. Thanks, Danila. I'm pretty sure you have a favorite thus far. If you do, tweet us, hashtag winnerhome. You could be seeing your name live on television. And while you're at it, don't forget to vote for that favorite design duo and stand a chance to win one of these amazing apartments designed by our design duos. It's really simple to enter. You go to privateproperty.co.za. If you scroll down just slightly, you'll see this winner home icon over there. You literally just click on that icon. It'll take you to a page with our faces on it. It's obviously a big winner home logo. All the T's and C's will be present for you there. You go check out the actual home. Itself. Right at the bottom, there's this little icon here that says enter now. You see it? You tap on it. Once you've clicked on enter now, all the details will then pop up on how to actually enter the competition. You'll see all of the details there, and then you go vote for your favorite design duo. Is it going to be Perma Peeps, Contrast Control, Team RK? You tap one of your choices, and then just below that, you fill in all your details. Right at the bottom, we'll say enter now, and voila, you entered into the grand prize competition. So go do that right now, privateproperty.co.za. Now that they've completed their first challenge, all our design duos can do is sit back and wait for the judges to deliver their feedback. We'll hear what they had to say after the break. With all your bank cards safely loaded onto your Galaxy smartphone using the Samsung Pay app, Instantly get what your home and heart desires, safer and simpler, allowing you to pay anywhere. Live a seamlessly connected life with the Samsung SmartThings app. Welcome back to Winner Home. You're still tuned into South Africa's favorite design show competition. Our design duos were thrown a curveball up front, having to complete both spare rooms for their very first challenge. But now it's up to the judges to decide who knocked this one out of the park. I really hope that the judges appreciate what we have done. Design contestants, congratulations on completing your first task on Winner Home Season 5. It was a double challenge and not an easy one, but each of you pulled off some incredible designs. Congratulations. All that's left is for our judges to arrive, to view each apartment, and then to give their all-important verdict. The judges are here. Dun, dun, dun. The judges are here. They are Stephen Brooks from Bowen Properties, Brian Courtney from Private Property, Butle Matole, Kabu Design Architects, and finally, Rudolf Jordan, mentor and guest judge for this challenge. The judges are here and it feels like zoom, 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 zoom. The stress is real. I feel like we should have baked them some cookies or something, like the classic uh, estate agent trick. Yeah, yeah, definitely. We personally hope that the judges notice how diverse and multifunctional our spaces are, as well as the small personal DIY touches that went into it. What the Perma Peeps have done with their guest bedroom was really cool. Those solid blinds were very effective. Uh, one big negative was there was zero storage space, so things like shoes, socks, delicates, you can't put them anywhere. I love the room. I think the element of surprise is really brought in. The textures that I use are really exciting. But I think in executing the details, some of the little things were not thought of. For example, where do you put your shoes, your delicates? Where am I going to put my real cool stripy socks? I really do like the headboard that they've put together. I have appreciation for the amount of time they spent on this. It's a tactile piece of art rather than a headboard, since you will still be bumping your head against the wall. I think the room's been staged really well. I um, mean, if you're looking to sell or rent the apartment out, it definitely adds value. For example, these um, steel and glass doors is an amazing value add. Love the angular structural steel work, matches the building, good clean lines, something different. Really enjoy it.
Sure, looks like something's missing in this room. Why don't you check out what's behind that mirror? No, it's a mirror, guys. Nothing else. Oh, wow. Mirrors on the floor. <laughs> Something <laughs> different. Wait, that looks like a fault. Right? Yeah, that's right. Oh, it's part of the linear. Ah, it's been go. thought through very well. That spare room was amazing. There were a lot of surprises. <laughs> and then what about She's the even side? extra long there. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Steve, what else do you think is in these cupboards? Let me get this bed out of the way and see what we can find. Yeah. Wait, wait, this thing's gonna fall there. We'll watch the lights. Okay, what can you figure out, Jeff? Wait, this thing's moving? Yeah, there we go. Whoa. Okay. The challenge with that desk is if I leant on it, it felt like I would fall through. So that can't be a good thing, but uh, their concept was amazing. Really good concept. The idea of multi-purpose, I find that actually quite good. Um, and I think once again, their downfall was just the issue of understanding materiality, the structural components of how things actually work, how far does a desk span before it starts to wobble. I love this cork. It's a very great idea, eh? Great idea. On the positive side, I really like the pinout board out of cork. It has a beautiful texture to it, it's tactile, and it contrasts with the plants used in the space. I really hope the judges love our space because there was so much effort and sweat that went into that. Wow. Yeah, I really enjoyed this room. Uh, I felt it was really good. The color green is a really cool color. The Caesar stone window reveals really, really exceptional detailing. Very cozy kind of room with the carpeting. The curtains that were completely heavy, hotel style curtains really made it an inviting place to sleep in. I'd feel like I want to just lie down here and have a good two hours schluff, as my Jewish friends would say. The guy's spare bedroom felt quite like a hotel room to me. It was cozy. And that wooden ceiling felt very rustic. It didn't feel like it really went well with the styling in the room. Very luxurious room, nice carpeting, good bedding, lovely window treatment. The one negative is definitely the ceiling feature. They lacked a little bit of discretion in just appropriating their ideas, but I commend them for actually trying and actually pushing the envelope. In my opinion, they probably push the envelope the most in terms of just bringing ideas, the distilled, making their own furniture and that type of thing. So they really engaged with the space. This really is a lovely room. I do like the colors of the room, the desk, the structural integrity of this desk is much better and ample storage space. Yeah, I think this room is actually quite exciting. And conceptually, the use of a day bed versus a couch, the framing of the window with a Caesar stone. Conceptually though, there's quite a number of ideas, um, but I think they've gone quite a mile in making things themselves and thinking about every nook and cranny in the space, yeah. The studio space is amazing. I really like that Afro chic they brought into it, mixed with the industrial feel. To me, that feels like a bit of a man cave. I could use that as a home office any day. <laughs> love the room, love the Oggio floors, really cool. The art is fantastic. I'm a collector of art, so I love it. The Vogue and the Monet, really different with the African theme. It's, it's really cool, this room is. I think the word everyone is looking for here is eclectic. They have put together a beautiful curation of things and it's interesting to look at and just well put together. One, two, three. <laughs> These past two weeks have been really, really hectic. You know, it's quite nice to finally, you know, chill out and relax while the judges are actually checking out our apartments. Yeah, and it's actually the first time we actually get to sit with all the other Jews and just engage and get to know them a little bit better. It's, it's been really awesome. And of course, using our Samsung phone. Yeah. So awesome. I really hope that the judges appreciate what we have done, especially with design. You know, those hexagons we added in our guest room, they were carved and designed by ourselves. Team RK's guest bedroom was really functional. I think it was well put together. It didn't blow my mind, but I would certainly have a guest of mine stay in that room. I think there was enough sufficient storage for shoes and the shelves on the side added a lot more interest. Generally, consumers really enjoy that when looking for property. Oh, this is stunning, wow. 
Lovely textures. Love the Caesar stone. Absolutely stunning choice. Really well done because this is normally a worktop. Totally different. Really love it. Love the plants. Love the books. Really well done. RK Caesar stone shelving was amazing, but the rest of the room lacked a little bit of imagination and they missed a great opportunity to show their design skills here. I think the blinds, um, the choice of textures and colors is actually quite interesting. I wouldn't have thought of it. Yeah, I love it. Oh wow, look at this. This is beautiful. Ooh, chocolates. Eat well, train hard, Ooh. friends. Uh-uh. Don't mind if I do. With the RK with the glam room, I think it, it captured the VC concept. It, it really worked. The black and the reds, and, you know, the whole treatment of the space, it was very open. I think if you look at the context in which the elements had functionality, that was maybe lacking. Overall, very lovely to look at, very plush, and yeah, exciting. Enjoyable space, lovely textures. Team r &K have done some extreme things in this room. It's amazing, I mean, that's quite over the top, but uh, I think it's spectacular. This to me is a complete surprise. They used the cover of the VC magazine, the red and the black in it, and I can see that they did the frame out of Caesar stone. How cool is that? r &K really bowled me over with this room. It is meticulously, beautifully executed. They took all my lighting comments into consideration and it turned out great. The use of space here was very, very good. I mean, the, the, the floor to ceiling mirrors really give a height to a very, very small room. So I thought that was very clever. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a bricklayer by profession, so you know, this room is a bit much for me. Sure, it's very <laughs> glamorous, but I'm sure my wife with a collection of shoes would absolutely love this. She'd probably say it's to die for. It's unbelievable. Well, it seems that all the spaces were a huge hit with the judges, but what do you think? Don't forget to hit us up on social media and use the hashtag WinnerHome. We could be reading your comments live on air. One that came through was from Durrell, and she says, WinnerHome, uh, exciting times for this new season. I love all the team's ideas and how they managed to collaborate into new spaces. Hashtag permapeeps, you have my vote. Have you casted yours yet? Hashtag WinnerHome. After the break, it's time for our weekly Capitech Open the Door giveaway. So keep your phones nearby as we might be calling you live live after the break. Don't take credit. Unexpected coming from a bank. But just think about it. Using credit to finance a flashy lifestyle to show that you've arrived won't help you live better. What's new today is old tomorrow, except for the debt that you still have to pay. But do take credit to renovate your home, buy a more reliable car, or pay for your children's education. If that's your goal, then Capitech will help you realize your dreams. Because living better starts when you get credit for the right reasons. Get credit for the right reasons. Up to 250,000 Rand based on your need. Capitech. Welcome back to Winner Home on SABC3. It's Kati Spigile. It's time for the Capitech Open the Door giveaway where we draw one lucky name from the past week's entries and that lucky contestant will get to choose one of the three doors behind me and win whatever is behind it. Hidden behind the doors tonight are a 5,000 rand Waylands or Waylands voucher, a Caesar Stone Domino desk lamp designed by a doctor and missus worth 12,000 rand and a Daniel Klein his and hers watch set worth 3,200 rand. Here to open the door for us tonight, we have Matthew Carmichael Green, Communications Coordinator at Capitec. Welcome. All right, we have our lucky caller on the line, Kuliwe Mgwenya from Johannesburg. Now, Kuliwe, you have heard all the prizes hidden behind the doors. Which door would you like us to open, red, white, or blue? Um, a blue. Say it again. Blue. Blue, all right, Michael. Matthew, <laughs> let's see what's happening. Oh, Blue, congratulations, Billy, where you've won yourself a Daniel Klein his and hers watch set with 3,200 Rand. Who are you going to be giving the his watch to? 
congratulations to my husband. Oh, congratulations. <laughs> I'm I'm so excited for you, but that's not all. As one of our sponsors for the season, Samsung is giving you the chance to win a second time. Are you excited for that? I am. Cool. Then if you answer one simple product-related question correctly, you'll walk away with a brand new pair of Samsung Gear Icon X earbuds. So take a listen very carefully to this information, all right? Because I'll be asking you a question about it. These earbuds have some amazing features like the built-in music player with 3.4 gigs of internal memory and storage for up to 1,000 tracks. And if you download the Galaxy Wearables app, you can connect your Gear Icon X to your Galaxy Note 9 smartphone and pick up and reject calls wirelessly. It also has a built-in heart monitor by syncing your Gear Icon X with the S Health app on your compatible Samsung smartphone. You can have a coach's voice literally in your ear to keep you motivated. Clearly, are you ready to win? I am ready. Cool, then answer this very simple question for me. How do you connect the Gear Icon X to your Galaxy Note 9 smartphone? Uh, mm, no, but I can give you a clue, right? It's something that you have to get from a store. Come on, Tiliwe, I believe in you. Uh, oh my goodness. <laughs> Do you want to pass on this one? All right. Well, it's to download the app that you can get from the store itself, which will allow you to collect. It's called the Galaxy Wearable app. Not to worry, though. There's still more to be won. All right. Kaliwe, listen, I'm still happy that you've won the watch. His and his. There's yet another opportunity for you to win. Are you a Capita client, Kaliwe? Yes, I am. Yes. All right. Okay. Answer the following question to win 5,000 bucks. What is Capitex credit card interest rate? I'm going to give you some options here. Give multiple choice. Is it 10%, 14%, or 17%? percent Oh, no! Clearly, it is 10% prime. <laughs> ah, well, listen, you're not walking away empty-handed. You've got that stunning Daniel Klein, his and his watch set valued at 3,200 rands. That should make you happy, right? I am happy. I am happy. Uh, thank you so much, Teddy. Well, listen, if you at home would like to be our next Capitec Open the Door winner, uh, then make sure you enter our grand prize competition by voting for your favorite design duo on privateproperty.co.za. Behind the doors next week are a 2,000 Rand Carol Boyce voucher, a mere shower head worth 3,600 Rands from flush bathrooms, and a 5,000 Rand Valons voucher. But that's not all. This is your chance to win the home you've always dreamed of. Enter the Winner Home competition by voting for your favorite design duo on privateproperty.co.za and stand a chance of winning a fully decorated apartment at Part of Lane Lifestyle Estate, developed by Baldwin Properties worth over 3 million rand. Plus, you'll automatically be entered into the weekly draw, where this coming Thursday night, you could walk away with a Samsung Gear Sport Watch with fitness tracking and underwater resistance rating of 50 meters. And if that's not enough, Capitec clients stand a chance to win a further 5,000 Rand in cash. Competition details plus T's and C's can be found on the private property website. Winner Home, every Thursday evening at 7.30 on SABC3. The stage is yours. Ah, lots of winning happening over here. Now, all that's left is to find out which design duo walks away as winner of the first challenge. Design contestants, welcome. And congratulations on completing your first challenge. It's done and dusted. And all that's left is to give you the judges' feedback and then to announce our winner. Perma peeps, the judges loved your concept of a multifunction room and the hidden elements like the Murphy bed and the fold down desk caught them by surprise, as well as the fact that you brought greenery into the spaces. However, the build quality of some of your elements is what let you down. With regards to the stability issues on some of our elements, we were aware of that during installation and plan to address it as soon as we can. Team contrast control. In both your rooms, the amount of custom design elements blew the judges away. They really liked your metal shelves and desk, as well as the collaboration headboard. However, there wasn't much love for your wooden ceiling feature. The fact that the cupboard doors couldn't open was a real design oversight on your part. 
Team RNK. Your glam room was a hit. Almost as much as the chocolates you left on the dressing table. In the guest bedroom, the judges all agreed that your hexagonal Caesar stone shelves were a winner. Overall, however, the judges felt you could have put more effort into custom design elements. You can all be extremely proud of what you managed to pull off in just two weeks. It's time now to announce our winner. After reviewing each apartment, the judges have reached a stalemate. So they decided that for this round it's a tie and there will be two winners. The first winner is Team Contrast Control. Gentlemen, the judges would have made you the outright winners for this challenge had it not been for your ceiling feature. I mean, how are guests going to come and visit and they can't even open their cupboards? It's for this reason that the judges have chosen a second winner of this challenge. The second winning team is... Team RNK! <laughs> Good to win, but um, to share a win because they made a mistake, uh uh, we're going to have to bring it next time. As winners of this challenge, each team will receive free credit from Capitec to the value of 5,000 Rand to be used in the upcoming challenges to add value to your properties. Naturally, it is really not fun being the loser, but we are really happy for the other two teams and plan to use this to really push ourselves going forward with the rest of the challenges ahead. Two winning teams and the winning doesn't stop there. You know, Kaliwe won some really cool prizes on yes, the show today. Well, because they, because Capitec value her as a client, they're going to give her an extra two and a half thousand rand just because she banks with Capitec. I love it! How exciting. <laughs> the winning never stops nice. on Winner Home. And that means that next week we're, we're rolling over 10,000 rand oh. if you are our winner <laughs> and you're a Capitec card holder. So stay tuned for oh, those details. Oh man, so lots cool. of prizes. I'm loving it so much. Well, remember to vote for your favorite on privateproperty.ca and stand a chance to win your choice of one of the three completed apartments worth more than three million rand. We'll see you again next week. Good night. <laughs> this coming Thursday on Winner Home, having completed both spare rooms in the first challenge, the design duos are briefed on their second challenge and realize that the competition doesn't get any easier. Plus, stand in line to win amazing weekly prizes and your chance of winning the grand prize, your very own home. Tune in for all the design inspiration and all the drama with Winner Home. Thursday evening at 7.30pm on SABC3. The stage is yours. Another feel-good production. Search for a home on any device, anytime, anywhere. Private property. A home for everyone.